So this is one of an army of Chartwell Cancer Trust's AV1 No Isolation robots. And these robots are used when a child who is undergoing treatment for cancer and leukaemia is unable to attend school in person. So this little guy sits on the desk in the child's seat in the classroom and our student will have an iPad or a phone at home where they can join the classroom um, and take part in the lesson as much or, or as little as they want to. So just to give you a demo, um, this is what the child will see at home. As you can see, the robot can rotate 360 degrees around the classroom. So it can follow the teacher, turn to talk to classmates, if he wants to, or she wants to ask a question, then they can flash the cap on the top and the teacher will know that, um, in my case, Joe wants to answer a question or ask a question. If the child um, would like to attend the lesson and just listen, they can do so. So they can do this by turning the cap blue. And you can see, so this way, the class knows that Joe is listening to the lesson but doesn't actively want to be involved um, in taking part with any questions or answering any questions. And then the student can also let the class know how they're feeling. So perhaps they're doing a, a very sad history lesson and Joe wants to show the class that they're feeling very sad and they understand that the story is very sad so they can change their expression to this one. If the class is asked a question, then Joe can show that she's thinking about the question by putting this thoughtful, confused um, expression on their face. And then obviously, if they're very happy, which is what we're hoping they're going to be most of the time, when they're able to engage with their school friends and their classwork, then they can be happy and bright like this. So it's very simple. Um, a few facial expressions, fully immersed in the class like this, just listening to the class like this. And then there's four different volume buttons as well. So they can either talk to the whole class or if they want to do group work around the desk, then they can go into whisper mode. So it acts as their eyes, ears and their voice through the microphone at the front here. So they can join the lesson as much or as little as they would like. And we're really lucky because Welling Football Club have decided that this little guy is going to be the football club's mascot uh, for the foreseeable future. So keep an eye out for him on the pitch and uh, on match days at Welling Football Club. Thank you.